Hi, my name is KK, and today we're playing no games. Well, uh, the game is grounded. We are playing that, but we're not messing around. We're going straight to the undershed. Last time I goofed off a little too much. You know, that's, that's really not true, actually. Uh, I just knew the undershed would take a long process, and I didn't have the time to take that process at the time I was playing. We're here once again. Oh, you know what? I brought with me everything to make one of these large storage chests. I wanted to do this. Uh, this way I'm not running back and forth after my inventory fills up because I don't like dropping anything. I want to keep it all. Uh, but I didn't want to bring any pets with me because I'm just pretty sure they would die. So we're gonna go into it. Um, I did bring this suspicious mint shard with me because a lot of this down here is going to die by the mint mallet. How funny would it be if I like I found a recipe in here and then I went back to base and it just didn't come back. Oh god, I would never actually do that. <sighs> so I don't really know the best method to explore the inner shed, so I'm just gonna kind of go at it in my own way. We'll start by what's up here. Hey, termite soldier gold card, nice. I feel like I deserve that. So for these lint clumps here, I am actually gonna hop into the options menu, go over to accessibility. I'm gonna turn on wide interaction. This will allow me to grab these things as fast as possible before they fall to the ground. Did I save that? Ah, missed one. Also, I'm gonna try and go through this in sections. Like I did this area here, and then I'm gonna do this area up here, and then, you know, go down and just continue moving forward. But before we move on, I'm gonna head into the best location to get twinkling shells. These are unique scarabs, they don't burrow. They're gonna be in this pipe right here. Also wanna make sure I have my tuft, I do. Yeah. I'll hop right down here on this quota. It's gonna be hard to do this. <laughs> Accidentally killed a scarab. So I just want to tell you a story that has happened to me in the past while trying to take out these scarabs. And the reason I am stopping right here and not following it to that hole. I have had these scarabs knock me into this hole. It is not fun. So I am going to wait for you to come back this way. Please. Please. Oh man. I swear if you knock me in the hole. But 17 twinkly shells out of three. If only I would have brought my sticky gum nugget, possibly could have made that be more than 17. Or four? I don't remember how many I just killed. Four, it was four. I feel like I haven't collected any molars in so long, which really wasn't that long ago because I did get some in the brawny boy bin. I am going to do this whole pit. Uh, there is a bunch of orb weavers in here. But we'll get to that in a moment. Really should have brought a headlamp down here. Oh, yeah, because I didn't even see that's what was happening. First set of full inventory. That, that didn't sound right. I have my first full inventory set. I, have, I don't know. Anyways, inventory's full, so we're going to go dump it out and come back. I guess I should set my respawn here as well, just in case I die. Mm. You know what would have been a good idea? If I would have brought those flares with me. But we're just gonna go in here for this. It's also a stack of red ant eggs, which still makes no sense to me because there's two black ants down here. Plus it's just like a random place for there to be eggs anyway. Oh, I was wrong. This is not the Black Widow. Okay, so that one is the Black Widow with all the webs around it. That makes so much sense. Because of that find, I don't know if it's actually possible to go around that Black Widow. I could probably run through it and try not to fight it. But I don't want to hop down there yet, because I still have a little bit up here to explore. And I don't want the red ant eggs. Actually, didn't. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry, Aphid. You could have lived. Hey, 
And my inventory is full once again, which is pretty decent timing because I do think all I have left before I drop down in the water is to go across that pipe there. And then I'll be dropping down into the water. And it is possible to come back. I uh, just, it's kind of like the point of no return, I guess. It's just a good spot to just try to keep moving forward, which I got to figure out what I'm doing about the Black Widow because I'm still a little bit nervous. Actually, I have an idea of what I can do about the Black Widow. It just involves me going back to base which I have been trying not to do, but I am going to do it. Oop, I'm going to avoid these spiders too. I killed a bunch of you. Oh, what a landing. So somebody suggested to me to use the termite armor, and I don't remember the name, so I'm going to throw it up on screen uh, to give them credit for it. I think it was Lewis something, but you'll see it up on screen. But to take the termite armor down the sleek path, and this gives you dust cloud, which slows down enemies, and I just learned that it gives you an acid splash as well, which is pretty cool. So I am going to try this against the Black Widow. So I got it in my inventory. I'm going to take it with me. I also brought along a Lurvania because it gives you increased critical hit chance. And I feel like that could be pretty useful against the Black Widow. You know, what I did not do was make more smoothies. I should have done that. So I think I have finished everything on this side of the little pond down here. And I do have this bit of raw science in this pipe right here to get. And I do think this is the best way to get it is from this side. But you do have to jump and yeah, use the dandelion tuft. Always have to make sure that's equipped because that is uh, yeah, just, you know, my kryptonite, I guess. But here we go. All right. Yeah. So that was definitely the way to do it. And so from where we are now, there is no option but to go down, which is fine. Um, that little tunnel we came to the end of, this is where I actually thought the Black Widow was, which I was severely mistaken. We've been at the end of this pipe. That's where we got the scarabs. And then I came to the end of this plateau, whatever, which is also a way you can get back up that way. You can also jump back into that as well, but Geronimo! There are spiny fleas in here. Uh, an abundance of them as well, but I do need to get down in this water now uh, because there's pond moss in there and I need that. Also, you can see a bunch of floating lint. Majority of this stuff collects here if you miss it from up there. Oh, I forgot to grab my water gear. I'm going to be moving slow through here. Oh, did not realize I needed a tier three blade to take out the pond moss. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there's so many. So two things. One, I'm gonna have to come back and get the pond moss because I don't wanna go back to the base and do it right now. And two, I don't know if I actually have enough to craft the Black Widow blade. Got the mosquito gold card, nice. We have made it to the Black Widow. So let me get everything set up right before we even step foot in here. I didn't even think about grabbing a trinket. Then our food, we'll drop a mite loaf and a Lavarnia. Oh, right. Those don't stack. Oh, well, at least I did the Lavarnia second because that is what I wanted most. All right. I still don't believe I am ready for this, but hoping for the best here. Yeah, there are so many Black Widowlings. Hi, I'm back. You maybe didn't even realize I was gone. Who knows? But perhaps I sound different. Maybe it's all in my head. I feel like I sound better. But my allergies just like really started acting up last night. I don't know what was going on with that. But yeah, we're still just standing here. I see a milk molar. I'm going to try and get that. I need you to turn around. I thought I killed all the spiderlings. See, oh, oh. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Mm-hmm. 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 Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm actually really surprised. Ooh. Really surprised I was able to get over here without you seeing me. But, oh, God, you're coming right at me. So here's the deal. I only want to try this one time. And if I'm unsuccessful, then that's it. Like, I'm going to try and sneak past her. You know what? You know what? You know what? Like, I know I just took the time to run back to base to grab the turbine armor to fight the Black Widow, but I think being a coward is kind of the best option in this situation right now. Ah! 
Yeah, I'm just gonna run out of here. Oh my god, there's so many! And we are up here. I do, again, think that was the best call. Oh my god, why are there so many? That's not normal. <laughs> How did you get down here? Got a bit of a dilemma here. My inventory is full. But if I go back, I have to sneak past the Black Widow again, which it wasn't hard. Like, I just feel like, oh man, I can't even pick up any more webs. I don't know if there's anything I'm willing to sacrifice right now. Maybe the mosquito sacks, but I don't want to go back through there. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish out this. And then if there's anything I can't pick up, I will uh, just come back through the, the termite mound way, which I can actually eat food. That'll help. So the last time I came through the Undershed in uh, my last world, this was glitched. Like when you break it up, the pieces would like just not be there. They would like get glitched in the ground or up in this thing or somewhere. Uh, so I do hope that's gotten fixed because I do want these. I do want these supreme materials that come from it. And I got nothing. How about that? Not a thing. Yeah, so they're gone. They're, oh, look at that. They're right there. Hi guys, did you want to go home with me? Yeah, that's annoying. That needs to be fixed. So I have made the decision. I forgot about the man being down here. So I have made the decision. I am going to run empty my inventory just because there is going to be more things that I'm going to get. Thankfully going through here, there's no bugs to worry about. Just coming back through and having to bypass the Black Widow again is the issue. Ooh, also I have a bunch of milk molars that I can use to upgrade myself. Nice, eight and six. I'm gonna go do the max health all the way up. Biggest one out of the way. So I'm now missing eight more regular milk molars. That seems like a lot. And I can go ahead and get you. So now I'm only missing three of the max arrows. Or I'm missing, so now I'm only missing three of the mega milk molars. It just the max arrow stack size, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, how about I just missed a tape right here? Ooh. Here we go again. Oh no. I already slid in too much. <gasps> look away, look away, yes, yes. Don't pay attention to me. Don't look at me. Don't do anything. I, God, I need this. I need this. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay. Ha <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see that the first time. I wonder if this may be reloaded and or here nope okay well we're back in the lab we are going to continue right on through field station well we'll go ahead and set a respawn point here since we're going to fight the mant the mant uh, honestly isn't like that big of a concern to me i found the fight to be relatively easy it's not letting me grab this lint Oh, you know what? I still have wide interaction on. Nope, not the issue. Okay. Let's go ahead and open the door on the opposite side. So many notes in this one room. Monstrous roar in the distance. Hello, sir. How are you doing in there? So as far as this mint goes, hey, excuse you. There we go. Uh, it's weak to mint, but it does have a resistance against generic. So we'll, uh, we're gonna hope for the best with the mint mallet. I don't think that's how I took it on last time or any time. I don't know if I've used the mint mallet against the mant, but we're about to see how it works. I'm just making sure there's nothing up here before I drop in the hole. By the way, that's why I'm wasting all this time. But let's get you on, let's get you set up. I think that's what I want It's just barbarian. Actually, I don't think I wanna go with barbarian because having a parry could be a big deal. Um, Cause I do feel like your attacks are gonna be significantly stronger. I think I'm going to do Sour Sensation. Having the ability to reflect some of that damage back on you could be very beneficial. And then of course I want to do the Suspicious Mint because I'm going to be using the Mint Mallet. So let's get some of that minty going on in here. And you're right there. Can you please? Oh wait, don't move. Ha ha! Got you peeped before I forgot. Oh, don't come back. Go away so I can jump in, please. Hello, sir. Ah, ah, ah. I like your whitey tidies. You don't have to hit me. Hello. Oh, there's two of you. 
Oh, that like hit me directly. You got some aim there. Thank you for killing that ant. Oh, hey, block it. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. So just like a taunt. Nice. Oh, I hear an ant. Oh, you got me. Ow. Just like pulled me towards you? That was kind of wild. Oh, there's four on that one. Ow. What is that? You're like Spider-Man in me. Or Scorpion, I guess. Ah! Got all four of them that time, son! Ow. 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 Not four? Okay. Don't know the difference between the three and the four attack. God, you're like really tall. Oh. Yes, yes. Come on, stamina, get back. I'm gonna hit you in the butt. I'm gonna finish you in the butt. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. What a way to end that fight. My commentary is just the best. Mysterious Stranger Mutation Detected. Okay, I already peeped you. Good, good, good. So that mutation, there you are, Mysterious Stranger. You feel as though an unlikely ally is always looking out for you, which gives you the ability, Mysterious Stranger, which gives you the ability to summon the Mant, or a chance to summon you. 1,000 raw sirens. Oh, and I guess you don't have to peep the man because you do automatically get the gold card on that one. I wish this was like a redoable fight. The watched becomes the watcher. A little bit of a Oz ego going on there. Hello, good raisin, sir. How are you today? Oh, so much glory indeed. With good, good. Aha! Finally got a new figurine. There's actually going to be quite a few we're going to get here in the next few moments. We got Rascal Rogue level 2. Even more of a chance to steal something. How did you get out here? You did not use that door. Where was the secret passage? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, okay, so now... Oh, y'all are already out and about. Lovely. Um, I didn't know that would happen so fast. Yeah, I grabbed a bunch of food because I want to go refrigerate it, but I need to be able to equip this because I saw that ant. Where'd it go? There you are. Ow. Wendell is honestly so annoying. <laughs> uh, he will get in your way and bump you and stuff, so I do want to get rid of him pretty quickly. I don't know if they've made a way to where you can, he can just kind of leave you alone, or I can like set him down somewhere, I guess. And now we head back over there. Whoa. Wendell, if you knock me off of this, you know what, let me put this back on. I see you back there, Wendell. Are you preparing to teleport in front of me? Because there's a lot of distance between us. So I am just heading over here to... Where? Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Wendell, thank you for taking the hit for me, because you cannot die. Wendell was right above me, and he was stopping me from jumping. Just to give you an idea of how annoying he actually is. Right, so I am just heading over here to knock this out. We're not doing this yet, but it will be... Oh, God. Y'all won't let me talk. Okie dokie. <laughs> wow, there's so many of you out here. Didn't realize y'all were so common just right off the bat. Thought it took you a little while to start showing up as frequently as you have been already. Seeing that's the third orc one. Yeah, so we're not doing this right now. We're just kind of getting rid of the uh, marker there. But I do plan on doing the Java-matic before going to Director Schmechter because I do want both endings to be present. I think I've actually mentioned that before. But before I go to Director Schmechter, I do want to take out a Black Widow. Well, I guess I should have crafted the beginning cell while I was at the base. I didn't realize I needed to install it before I went down underneath. Oh, I just have to get the ingredients for it. Got it. I'm also going to go ahead and take all my stuff back. So I do have everything I need. Before I head back there, I do want to say uh, for the channel members, I have just released another video to which I farmed the Mantis. Or not farmed. I did fight the Mantis twice, and I did manage to get the finale crit boost, the Mantis trinket, which I can...
completely forgot about, and I could actually have been using that. And I did a little bit more on this building. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, you can join the channel. But now let's head back that way and get this thing set up so I can go underneath it. Wow, Wendell. Dude, you almost blocked me. I think Wendell's trying to kill me. Wendell. B. Oh, do I have the tuft on? I don't. Everything right now is like after me. Stop it. So if I'm correct, when I hit this button, it should activate it, but I do believe there's a cutscene which makes it not happen right. I hope it doesn't activate the fight down there. Uh, you know, let's go for it and find out. Yeah, insufficient power. So, oh, wait, what? Yeah, that's not the actual defense event. Oh, God. <laughs> now I have to go get a re freaking repair tool. This back and forth is getting a little annoying. It's funny because this is what I was trying to avoid when I was in the undershed. That's why I brought the chest, but now I'm doing it anyway because I just need uh, one thing after another. I'm really just trying to get into the room underneath the job matic which I think unlocks prior to doing the fight and not after the fight. I hope I'm not wrong. And we're going back. Look at the state of this. I have a storage facility not far from here that should be of use. Yeah, that's what I want. And now we can get, okay. And now we can get in here. Look at the chest and the weed stems. Oh, there's so much more stuff than I realized. Oh, I should have left the Black Hawks burger in there. I'm not even going to be able to carry all this stuff out of here. Nice. I'll leave those in here. And I'll leave those in here as well. So that'll be fine. They can be collected later. Yeah, so the only thing I left behind was a little bit of food, some smoothies, and then the arrows. So for what we got, like, this is, this is pretty awesome. Especially for building stuff. A whole bunch of crow feathers. Mushroom bricks, pine cones. The spiky burrs, lint rope. Just got a bunch of lint, so we're good on that. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and return this to base. And there's a few things I wanna do. Hello, crow. Please stay there while I tell you about my plan for the next few videos, thank you. Uh, so the plan for the next few videos is going to be to uh, take out the Black Widow. I do want to actually take on the Black Widow next time and I'm about to prepare for that after I talk about this. Then I am gonna come over here to this section and all through here, go ahead and clear out all the milk molars I can get. I'm not gonna go down into the slab yet because once I go down here and fight Director Spectre, it's gonna, you know, uh, put it to the good ending. And I do wanna show the bad and the good ending. Then after I do that, uh, I wanna do the mixers in the upper yard. There are four of them, I think. I don't remember. But I'm also hoping the, the recipe for the acid edge has been relocated and I can get that before fighting Director Schmechter. Uh, that would be dope. And then after that, we're gonna do the Java-matic. Then after the Java-matic, we're gonna do Director Schmechter. And that should clear up everything in the base game. I'm hoping I've gotten everything along the way. If not, obviously I'll go through it because I do it 100% it. Then before we go into New Game Plus, I'm going to fortify this base. So I think base fortification is going to wait. Uh, just because I do want to push the rest of the game. I want to get rid of the orc creatures as quick as possible. And as for the Black Widow, my initial plan here was to use the, the toenail sword because it comes with infection and this would slow down the Black Widow's attack. But with using the, the termite armor, I do believe that'll be fine and hopefully that'll be enough to slow down its attacks enough. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really trusting you on this information but it seems like it'll work. So instead I am gonna do the size of the blossoms because I do have enough to make one. So let's go ahead and make one of those. And I am gonna see if I can duplicate it before I upgrade it. And before I upgrade it, I wanna, I'm gonna take it down the sour path. I just wanna make sure I have enough. I can do one upgrade of the final. I can get it to level eight. So that is how that is gonna go. Yeah, then I'm gonna need to make more sour globs, but that's fine. I do have enough to make more sour globs. So we run over to the oak tree and duplicate this real quick and come back and upgrade it and talk about why this is my decision now. Oh, I didn't even think about the cost of this. I hope I have enough. 5,000, I do have enough. I wanna see if I can make the tier three Widow Dagger. I should have checked this before I left. No, I need two more Super Venom. I, I could duplicate that as well. And I'm not worried about like so much as duplicating this weapon itself. It's just the boss weapons I wanna have duplicated. All right, so let's talk about this. So the reason I wanna do 
the Scythe of the Blossoms because it gives you yoked blow blows, which pretty much doubles your critical hit damage. And if you take this up the Mighty Path, it uh, increases your critical hit chance, which is also pretty dope, but I need it to be sour. And we are doing this to pair it with the Apex Predator. When using Apex Predator with the Scythe of the Blossoms, it has a chance to increase your attack speed. And it gets pretty fast. And using that against the Black Widow will be ideal because I can inflict damage really fast. And then I can also use the Chopper Mutation with it since it does do chopping damage. And from what I understand, the Scythe of the Blossoms does use or does utilize the Assassin Mutation, which is kind of weird because this does specifically say Small Blades. And while I'm waiting for the last bit of my globs, I just looked it up on the wiki, 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 wiki. While I'm waiting on the last bit of my globs, I did just look it up on the wiki. I do have enough to duplicate the Super Spider Venom twice. So I'm gonna do that so I can make the Super Spider Dagger. Super Spider Dagger? Wow, okay. The Black Widow Dagger. And I'm gonna go back to the Undershed to get some moss. And I think I may try to take on the Black Widow. I was actually fully prepared to end this video, but I do wanna take on the Black Widow, or at least try to. Widow Dagger, nice. So I can finally <laughs> drop this spider fang dagger I've been holding on to for a really long time. And we can upgrade our Scythe of the Blossoms up to level seven and up to level eight. And that is all we can do with you for right now, but that is pretty good. Then I guess I'll go ahead and just take the Widow Dagger up to level five. Yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and take it up. It's level seven, yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna grab our termite armor. I was considering using the eye patch. I even leveled it up as far as I could because it does give you the attack boost, but I uh, can't time the blocks of the Black Widow very well yet because they are super fast. So this would be something I do later because this does lower your damage resist, plus it's got a very low defensive rating. And we'll take this Mantis Trinket for that finale crit boost. I do believe that'll be very useful. I do wish I had the mint version, not the mint version. I do wish I had the sour version of the Suspicious Mint. Mutation-wise, I am definitely going to hold on to the critical hit ones, both of those, Mithridatism, of course, Apex Predator, so I can have that increased attack speed with using the Scythe of the Blossoms, and then Meat Shield, so I can have a nice health boost. And also, on the way over here, I am going to grab a Black Ox Burger from uh, under the Java Matic, one of the ones I left behind. And I realized I said on the way, even though it is slightly out of the way. Black Ox Burger gives you increased health and increased damage resistance. I'm gonna take two of them actually, just in case. And also if I do end up killing this Black Widow, I'm gonna take out the other one down in that little tunnel that I've had marked. And as per usual, I'm gonna set my respawn point close by in case I do die. Oh, why are y'all already back? I haven't been gone that long. I was hoping it would just be like a smooth walk through here. And the mosquitoes, of course. What? Why did it not deploy? It was actually on that time. And yeah, let's go collect some pond moss and probably fight a bunch of spiny fleas. Oh, there's so many of you guys. Man, they're kicking my butt down there. Man, they're doing a lot of damage to my armor too. There's so many of you down here. Let's get as much pond moss as we can. Wish I had my underwater helmet. So I think I actually got all the pawn moss that's down there, and it's only 27. Trinket on, armor on, mutations. Yeah, that's the right one. And black ox burger. And of course the scythe, and I think we're ready to go. You know what could actually be useful here? The Mansterious Stranger. I haven't given this mutation a shot yet because I just got it. And sneak attack. Thank you, Wendell. Ah, yes, man, to get in here, do something. Oh, yes, thank you, man. I feel like I could have done okay without the man, though, because I was doing decently well of handling it. Don't know how much of the speed kicked in for the size of the blossoms. It actually felt like it was slow the majority of the time. Oh, let's make sure we have dissection expert on so we can get as much of this as we can. No super venom. No super venom. 
I guess this is the way I want to go to get out. I don't know. I'm not doing these web sacks this time. That's too much. Yeah, so I did actually end up accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish today. I just didn't start with the Black Widow before finishing the lab, but I did come back and do the Black Widow. I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to take on another one. How many smoothies do I have left? Yeah, so I mean, if I go back and replenish the smoothies, I feel like I can take on another Black Widow, no problem. Because that fight actually wasn't too bad. Ah, we're out. It's getting dark. Where's it getting day? It's getting dark, so we'll head back in the dark, I guess. Thank you so, so very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. We are definitely making a lot of progress as far as finishing uh, the main quest of the world. Oh, I do need to analyze that. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but I'm glad you got stuck. I actually didn't realize it had been long enough for y'all to respond. What was I saying? Oh yeah, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have been amazing this entire time. Great conversations we have had today. We've gotten everything done that we wanted to get done, which was to kill a Black Widow and to do the Undershed. And then we did some more. I don't know what else we did, I kind of forgot. Uh, we got the job Matic started, I guess. Uh, we do have to go over there and fight it. That's gonna be bothering me for a little bit as I run around the rest of the yard and finish it up. Wendell's also gonna be bothering me as I run around the rest of the yard and he tries to screw it up. Although he did help in that Black Widow fight by getting in the way of one of the attacks. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough, especially to those making it all the way to the end of my videos. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for this overwhelming support I have had. It makes me feel really good about what I'm doing. Until next time, I'll see you.